saving and closing your drawings individually, it's a complete waste of time. Use the macro command that I'm about to show you to close all of your drawings at once, save time, and have fun in AutoCAD. I'm gonna use the command macros palette. If, it, if it's not um, on your screen, let me open it for you. You can open it with uh, the command macros command. Once you do that, it will show up over here. What I'm gonna do is basically reuse uh, only of the, one of these commands by clicking and say um, command macro editor. Once I do that, I'm gonna rename my command close all oh, like that. For a description, you can add a description. And then if you have an image, an icon that you would like to assign, you can simply click specify the important part here is the macro code so let's click on it to expand it and we have this macro code that we did for a past live stream so i'm going to erase this uh, and simply leave the cc why well because the cc is a way to cancel or finish any uh, running or active command that you might be using and then what i'm going to do is since autocad um, every time we close one drawing, we'll ask, do you want to save or not? Like 99% of the time, I want to save my drawing. I could use the Q save command to save my current drawing, but we will have a problem because a Q save will only save your current drawing instead. Let's use save all. And to accept that, I'm gonna add the semicolon that represents an enter on my keyboard. The teaching methodology uh, that I want you uh, to learn is work on small steps. Because if I start adding many different codes here and then try my command, and if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna have a hard time trying to figure out where is the issue. I'm gonna click OK. And then I have three different drawings, A, B, and C. I'm gonna click, and then it looks like nothing really happened. However, when I expand my command line with the um, F2 on my keyboard, you can see that the command save all uh, run, and we need to uh, add the next step. The next step is, let me click and pick command macro editor. The next step is, to close our drawing. I could use the close command. However, it's gonna be the same idea. It's gonna only close this current drawing. It's not gonna close the rest of the other drawings. What we can use instead is the close all command. And now let's quickly test it. Let's click okay. Let's see what happens when I uh, use the lazy close all command. If I click on it, you can see that all of your drawings were saved and closed automatically. However, let me open it back to show you what might be a problem over here. It might happen that even though you utilize your command, AutoCAD will still ask you if you want to save or not, especially the first drawing. A way to avoid that, it's by adding the QSAVE command in the beginning of our code and let's test that final piece of code. Let's click on it and boom, all of your drawings were saved and closed quickly in AutoCAD.